This is the type of recipe that takes no time at all. And it also is the type of dish that you would have when you're watching a game, when you're having a celebration, like a kickback, or like, you know, you're hanging out with friends and stuff, or hanging out alone on a Saturday night or Friday these are great for like a great weekend food it's so cool like it great it goes great with you know healthy lifestyle or if you're trying to drink a beer or have some fun this is the type of meal for you especially that type but but you could also mix this recipe with good behavior as well i'm not saying that you can't but i'm just saying hey this is a great recipe for those things even hangover days like if you're a hungover and you don't have energy to cook or anything i'm pretty sure a soup would be better but hey tacos sometimes like in the past obviously this doesn't happen to be anymore but like when i had like you know a great day i drank the day before the next day i crave like burritos and tacos so that's what i crave when i just you know want to just have a chill day and it's the weekend and i'm kind of hung over and i'm probably gonna drink a little bit more so this is the type of recipe for that if you agree like below give me a comment telling me that you agree anyways this recipe is super easy it comes in three steps number one step is to cut up the lettuce and your veggies anything that you want to add to the taco i like lettuce and maybe pickled onions and then sometimes i like lettuce and tomato so you can choose whatever one and then you're going to create a sauce this is the sauce that i'm creating today i added some shallots some garlic and some enchilada sauce and tomato sauce and that's it i'm just going to let it boil and then here i have some beans and I'm gonna allow these to boil with some chile de arbol. I love this chile because it gives some smokiness to the beans. It gives it that oomph. No one ever makes good beans without this chili, so add it there. If you don't like too much spice, just add one or two. When I add one, it's kind of weak, so I like to add a lot, so you can decide on that. So once it's ready, I'm going to emulsify it and turn it into like a bean paste, okay? Refried beans without frying them, okay? So all we're going to do is steam our tortillas and we're going to add the beans into the tortillas and then we're going to fold the tortillas over and add them into an air fryer or a sheet tray to bake it. You could also do this in the comal on a skillet. You could just heat up the skillet on a low heat and allow them to toast slowly. This will take a lot longer though. It would take a really long time so if you have an air fryer perfect or an oven wonderful let's do this so fold the tacos and put them into the rack i'm going to do a lot of these you could freeze them and you can leave them in the refrigerator you could really leave them out as well like and then just keep consuming them when you want to they're just going to get more crispy so once these tacos are air fried we're going to serve them up i like to have like three or five i like to use odd numbers just like the culinary school taught us i'm gonna add three to a plate and then i'm gonna add some lettuce for the extra fiber you want all the help you can get because even though corn tortillas have a lot of fiber and the beans do too the corn tortillas they have been air fried so we have staled them up a little bit so they do come out of the you know back door a little harder than usual so you want to get some lettuce in there and have some vegetables do as much as you can have some broccoli or anything and then you're gonna add your pickled onions your sauce and you're gonna enjoy these delicious tacos are so good I used to eat this when I was younger I would eat this all the time literally steak quesadillas all kinds of unvegan stuff but now I do it cruelty free for the love of animals, for the love of myself, and because I understand science and I understand nutrition. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Dip in!